next on AM. Our next really big show will be joining TV Land's schedule this August. When it first appeared, it was truly groundbreaking. It was the first successful network variety series hosted by a black comedian, a talented young performer named Flip Wilson. Hit it! Yeah, the Flip Wilson show received applause and cheers. It was number two in the ratings for its first two years. The show ran from 70 to 74. It was different than anything seen by audiences before. Recurring stock characters were used in comedy routines, like the Reverend Leroy and that chick named Geraldine. Flip Wilson broke new ground for African Americans all around. So please enjoy this episode of The Flip Wilson Show, guest starring Bill Cosby and Gina Lola Brigida. The Flip Wilson Show. And you are my friends. Oh, I should start at the beginning, really. Now, this is a ridiculous show this evening, so I gotta go back to the beginning so you'll be right in on it from the start. <clears throat> the situation went back to before either was born. Their mothers lived next door to each other. Both Howard and Marvin's mother had 13 kids each and were expecting. Uh, so they decided that perhaps it might change their luck if in the next instance they were to exchange babies. Oh. So they, they went to the hospital the same day and the, the babies were born within a couple of minutes of each other, you know? But on the way back to uh, the nursery, the uh, nurse's aides there accidentally put the babies in the wrong bassinets, which led to when Marvin and Howard's mother exchanged babies after they arrived in the ward, they each ended up with the original kid. Ah. <laughs> Well, the point, uh, I think, makes it quite obvious that Marvin and Howard were born losers. Uh, right now, I'd like for you to meet my friend, Howard. My friend, Howard. How you doing there, old buddy, Howard? All right. You gonna let me cut the cards right? Yeah, I gotta cut the cards. I, mean, I told sure. you before what my father said. What'd your father say? My father said, no matter how dumb the dealer look, cut the cards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wasn't stupid. I wasn't stupid. There you go, old buddy. <laughs> Howard and Marvin. <laughs> Say, uh, Howard, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Well, I want to answer your question first. I got to check out something first. Go ahead. I feel it would be uh, most appropriate first that I thank you for being my friend. Oh, that's OK, Howard. Yeah. I mean, you've been a better friend to me than I've been to myself. <laughs> I know that, but I didn't want to keep bringing it up. <laughs> I hope we're still friends when we're 150 years old. You and I. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I don't see any reason why not. I mean, 150 years old, we'd just be together there, just playing cars, watching girls, and waiting for your ship to come in. <laughs> Do you keep bringing up when my ship is coming in? My ship will be in. No rushing. My ship would have been in last year, but that dock strike, they tied up the coast. <laughs> so they had to reroute my ship. <laughs> yeah, don't keep talking about my ship. It'll be here. Mm -hmm. Say, if I die first, you gonna come to my funeral? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll come to your funeral. Mm -hmm. You gonna be shocked? I'll be yeah. shocked. <laughs> my thing. Yeah, I'll be there. And when, and when they ask for somebody to stand up and say something good about you, yeah. I'll be the first one up. You gonna get up! Hey, I'm up! <laughs> you gonna oh, get no, up. you don't 
don't say that at people's funerals. <laughs> you don't hey, say, hey, what? I'm up there. You just get up. Ease up. How they huh? say, have you anything? Say. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what you gonna say? I just say something nice about you. That's well, let me hear some of it. I'm not gonna hear it then. <laughs> oh, true. Uh, on, on the ride, on the ride from the sem from the church to the cemetery. Yeah. I don't want to ride in the box in the back. <laughs> Where, where you want to ride? <laughs> I want to ride up front with you. <laughs> you know, you're my friend, ain't you? I want people to see us together for the last time. <laughs> say, look at those kills. Those, look at those cats. There they go. They sure must be friends. <laughs> you riding up front with me. Why? Because you be rolling all over. <laughs> no, I won't. No, I won't. Not, not, if, not if you tell me not to. <laughs> Somebody else tell me not to. It won't make no difference. But if you, if you just prop me up there in the corner and say, Marvin, don't plop around, <laughs> I, I won't fall. You just prop me up in the corner. Just say, Marvin, be cool, and put the radio on the local soul station. <laughs> hey, you be cool, all right. <laughs> Why would you ask a ridiculous question like that in the first place? Ridiculous? I don't, yes. I don't see what's so it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Well, I don't see that. It depends on how you look at it. I don't see what's so ridiculous about that. At first, I was gonna ask you to ride in the box in the back with me. <laughs> and I said, no, I better not do that. That'll be ridiculous. <laughs> now, you gotta make up your mind, see? Either you ride in the back in your box <laughs> or you ride up front by yourself. <laughs> could, could we get a double box and you ride in the box? I'm not riding in the box. <laughs> oh, just a minute now. So far, we, we've been discussing this from a point of view where I die first. That's right. <laughs> now, let's consider this from the other point of view. <laughs> now, if you die first, you probably want got a stupid request you want to make, too. Mm-mm. Because <laughs> I'm not going. <laughs> Bill Cosby meets Geraldine when TV Land's Really Big Shows continues. Have you been turned down for a mortgage or home equity loan because of bad or no credit? When your bank says no, TV Land says... Yes! Yes, no matter what you need, TV Land has the words you've been waiting to hear. Yes? Yes, yes! The most agreeable TV you can find. Yes? Of course! Oh, yes, of course. Yes! Because when your life says no, TV Land says... Yes! Yes. Is TV Land 34% better than real life? You bet you. It slices, it dices. It's a TV Land retro commercial. Look who's turning diet stepping up, giving up the sugar, sugar. I ain't giving up nothing, honey. What you see is what you get. Then why the diet seven up, mama? Because diet seven up doesn't have that stale diet taste. It's crisp, light, and delicious, just like me. <laughs> Wanna 
a terpsichore around the floor? You better watch your mouth. Uh -oh. I can kill her after you. Somebody hold my Diet 7 up. I hope you fall. <laughs> Diet 7 up. The only thing you give up is calories. What's the big idea? George has complained about my coffee long enough. Now watch this. This is our usual instant coffee. I can see that. Look at this. Hey. What is that? It's new instant Folgers coffee crystals. How does it taste? See? It sparkles. But how does it taste? And look how much darker and richer it is. Yeah, but how does it taste? Well, taste it. George is discovering new instant Folgers. Tastes great. New instant Folgers coffee crystals. Sparkling crystals of dark, rich, pure coffee. Wonder why they sparkle. I don't know, but I'll have another cup. Folgers developed these crystals to give you a better tasting coffee. Best I've ever had. Tastes so good, you'd hate to put it down. That's right. New instant Folgers coffee crystals. Taste so good, you hate to put it down. And now, back to TV Land's really big shows. There you are, Mr. Cosby. Comfy? Oh, yes, fine, uh. fine. Of course, I don't have my natural comb, but I think I'll be able to make it. <laughs> The doctor ordered a complete rest. You've been working too hard. Well, guess I'm only human. <laughs> Try to relax. It's for your own good. Yes. You must avoid excitement. Yes, well, will you do me a favor, yes? please? Uh, try not to walk that way. <laughs> I suggest you get some sleep. Oh. I'm going off duty now. All right. The night nurse will take care of everything you need. <laughs> Bye. 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 Nurse! Nurse! Italian style. <laughs> yes, honey. I'm going off duty now. Mm -hmm. You are uh, the night nurse? Yes, honey, but I'm kind of tired. I've been <laughs> posing for Playboy all day. <laughs> Keep your voice down. The patient is asleep. Keep my voice down? I wish he'd go ahead and die. We could use this room. <laughs> The patient needs rest and quiet. Well, who doesn't? I've been up since 7 o'clock this morning. I told you, I've been posing for Playboy all day. See that the patient gets what he wants, huh? What he wants is what put him in here. <laughs> hey, he's here for what he needs. Please see that he stays in bed. I'm late for my date. Date? How do you get so many dates? I just tell them. What you see, it's what you get. That's the same thing I tell you call an angel of mercy. Yes, What's wrong with you, Foz? Listen. Don't me. touch me. Don't touch me. I mean that. Don't put your hand. Don't you ever touch me. You don't know me that well. Don't ever put your hands on me, honey. I don't know what you might have. 
minute. I know you. Yeah. You. How could I forget? That's right. Yeah, you, yes, you uh, are, you are, uh, what's his name? Sure. Uh, don't tell me, don't tell me. It's on the tip of my tongue. Right I here. know your face. You, uh, I watch your show every week. It's on my baby bees. Don't tell me, don't tell me. You said I figured I'm not stupid. Uh, what's your name? Bill Cosby, right? Wrong. <laughs> You're not Bill Cosby. I know Bill Cosby when I see him. Well, look at the child. You're not Bill Cosby. You are. Uh, you on Mob Squad. <laughs> look at the child at the end of the bed, will you please? Now, what does it say? Yes, honey. All right. <laughs> sure enough. Yeah. Bill Cosby. That's right. Star of stage, screen, theater, concerts, records, everything. Yes, star, stage, screen, concerts, represent everything. <laughs> yes, son, you must be here for a swollen ego. <laughs> Look, now, now that I'm Bill Cosby, can I have some water, please? All you movie stars are alike. You getting your face lifted? No. No, I believe in the natural, just let your face hang out. Ego, open up. <laughs> Let me check your pulse. <laughs> you be all right. You devil, you. <laughs> you know, something extra special for you. <laughs> when you get well, I got another surprise for you. <laughs> Aren't you going to read it? Not now. I'm busy. <laughs> I'll read it when I got a little time. Listen, how about dinner? Well, I don't generally go out with the patients. No, no. I'm, I'm talking about my dinner. Oh, oh, oh. oh! Well, what do you want? Well, I'd like to have uh, some shrimp and a Caesar salad and a steak, please. A steak and a salad. I've been here two years and I haven't had a steak and a salad. You wouldn't be comfortable eating a steak and salad in this bed. You have to stand up. Because don't forget, honey, you in a semi-private room. Three more people got to get in this bed. <laughs> don't touch the phone. Don't touch the phone. This is an employee's phone. Right there on the bottom for employees. Don't touch the phone. Probably for me anyway. Devil you. Pop killer. Yes, honey. It's my boyfriend, killer. I see. Killer? Guess who I got in my bed, honey? <laughs> Get him at the hospital. <laughs> Sir, don't be ridiculous. Bill Cosby. Yeah, that's right. Bill Cosby. Yeah, he laying up here with a swollen ego. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, I, I tell him. Killer wants to talk to you. Say, say something funny. Hey, Killer, how you doing? That wasn't funny. <laughs> I'll be wasting Killer's time. <laughs> Ridic oh, you have to excuse him, sir. Killer, he's a little bit sick. <laughs> Don't forget our dates, son. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna get the ambulance again. <laughs> hey, you make the sandwiches and I'll bring the oxygen. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you then, honey. Oh, don't hang up. I just found something funny to say. You blew your chance. <laughs> Did anybody ever tell you that you're kind of cute when you're angry? No. <laughs> But no matter how nasty you see me act, keep in mind I'm holding back a little. Oh, yes. Anything else you want? You ain't getting no water. Can I have an alcohol back rub, please? 
<laughs> he want an alcohol drug. <laughs> the star stage cleaning television wants an alcohol drug. If Julia comes in, I'll let her give it to you. <laughs> I'll give you a needle. No, 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 I don't want that needle, thank you. Take a needle in it. I look out, you Just kidding around me. I know you're kidding around. If I get you well, will you give me something for my birthday? <laughs> what you want for your birthday? Five pounds of money. <laughs> yeah, sonny. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna watch a little TV here and just relax. Yeah, that, that's Thanks my... for coming in, nurse, I appreciate it. That's my favorite show, Iron Hips. <laughs> yeah, I like the way he zips around in that wheelchair. Mm-hmm. Last week, he chased a murderer through the car wash. <laughs> you should have seen it when that hot water and soap start shooting down on him. <laughs> yeah, this is the second part of a two-parter here. This week, we find out where they hid the money. Yeah, honey. Don't go away. There's more of TV Land's really big shows. Had a long, hard day? My girdle is killing me. Want to get away from your troubles? The farther away, the better. Well, you can. With TV Land's evening lineup, The Addams Family, Green Acres, Sonny and Cher, Hogan's Heroes, The Phil Silver Show, and Mannix every weeknight. Good thinking. Escape from your day with an evening in TV Land. Doesn't it take your mind off of your troubles? Take me to TV Land. For all the TV Land Retro, Marshall. Thank you. I know my own needs. And what I need from an automobile, I know I get from this new Cordoba. I could ask for nothing beyond the quality of Cordoba's workmanship, the tastefulness of its appearance. I request nothing beyond the thickly cushioned luxury of seats available even in soft Corinthian leather. Yet, it is on the highway where Cordoba best answers my demands. I have much more in this small Chrysler than great comfort at a most pleasant price. I have great confidence, for which there can be no price. In Cordoba, I have what I need. A foolproof recipe for TV comedy. A slice of Sid Caesar, a spoonful of Imogene Coca, a pinch of Carl Reiner, and one drunken sailor freshly beaten. Mix them together and you have an undisputed classic from the era of live television. Your show of shows. Tune in to Nick at Night's TV Lab when the Museum of Television and Radio Showcase presents a rarely seen installment of this landmark comedy variety show in its complete and uncut 90-minute version. Sunday, May 4th at 6.30 Eastern, 3.30 Pacific. Only on Nick at Night's TV Lab. We now return to TV Land's really big shows. It's not every week that I get the chance to sing a duet with so delightful and charming a guest as Gina Lola Vegeta. Mm -hmm. So in honor of the occasion, I've learned an Italian song for us to sing together. I thought it would be a nice gesture of friendship to my charming host to learn an American song for us to sing together. <clears throat> so, uh, that's the reason we'll not be singing the same song together at the same time. <laughs> I hope we're as good of friends at the end as we were at the beginning. Maestro. <laughs> Walk. That 
makes me tend to lick my sleeping bags rolled up and stays behind your couch. When the moon hits your eye like a bird, beats a pie like some more. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's a more. celebrating the first anniversary of Nick at Night's TV Land with a three-hour extravaganza of television's best variety shows. And up next, Frank Sinatra guest stars on The Dean Martin Show as TV Land's really big shows continues. Stay tuned. Distributed by the SFM Entertainment Division of SFM Media Corporation. How did we make TV Line 34% better than real life? 